and welcome to my studio. Um, this has been my studio for about 50 years. Um, I first had this studio when I was a fashion designer and uh, that's a long, long time ago, as you can see by the colour of the hair. So, um, but I, I have to be really honest, I'm back doing fashion design right now as well, so it's pretty exciting. I have some things up here in the studio. However, the pro this project is going to be a little bit different. Um, I spend a lot of time traveling. First of all, of course, it was, was for teaching, teaching all over the world. I was away mm, about four months, uh, not four, 10 months of the year. But now I'm, I'm home a little bit more, sort of, um, because I also now have my own travel company where we study textiles and we go to wonderful places around the world, very small tours uh, and uh, travel and, 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 and um, look at textiles and art and culture and all of those uh, food too as well <laughs> look at all those wonderful things so my whole my whole environment my house is is um uh, <laughs> has little bits of travel back here and um this little project basically came from india i suppose i started um using ai a little bit designing portraits because portraits basically is my main um my main forte and um the other day, just on a whim, I said, mm, I think I will do an orange elephant. So I talked to Mr. AI in the computer and I asked him to give me an elephant, an orange elephant with plants, uh, a beautiful um, a beautiful rug on its back and um, a few things like that. So Mr. AI obliged and sent me about six images, which I thought were pretty neat, to be honest. So I thought, oh, I'll share these. I shared them on Facebook and I said, which one do you like? And, and the overwhelming response was for one specific elephant. And so I said, well, okay, if I draw this up and I create a quilt from this or even just a piece of textile art, because to be really honest, what I do is textile art, um, you can, everybody can follow along and I'll do it online on YouTube and then you can follow along. And, and also using the YouTube channel, we'll be doing videos when we travel. So um, that that's another reason, but wherever we travel, the inspiration is always there, you know, and, and, and I, I don't stick to one genre. Sometimes it's whimsical like this one, which I would very often, you know, I just draw it out of the head, but, um, this was just a little test. So it's an experiment. I don't mind who uses it, as long as you don't teach it. Um, and um, and let's see what happens. Be interesting, won't it? Um, maybe nobody, maybe nobody. So these were the images that were given to me by Mr. AI and um, yeah, I rather like them, actually. I really liked each one, to be honest. I think that all make a nice quilt. But um, the people decided um, that they would like this one here. Not this one, this one. And, uh, yes, this one. And so here we go. And now I had to trace the image. I used my iPad. I put a photo, one of the, the images, into the iPad in the program Fresco, which is a drawing program on um, the Apple computer. And uh, I used a pen to do the outline. I've got a small um, cyber tracing paper over the top, and then I'm drawing on the tracing paper. And then when I've finished, I take the photo away, and then that just leaves the image of the, the elephant. And... Um, you know, I've done a lot of drawings this way. I can do it freehand, of course. However, um, I thought this was the best way to do it. So that's what it looks like uh, when I take the, the elephant away. And this is the one that I gave to Keith um, today to, to print. So this is my setup on the table. Um, and um, I have 
the pretty rough drawing underneath here. See, I had to put a butt and a leg in last this morning. So now I'm going to refine it with my own uh, illustration. And this will be the pattern that everybody gets. Um, I'll, I'll do it PDF. So you can print it out to any size that you want. And it's going to be a bit rough, I suppose, because you, as you can see, I'm doing it by hand. And this paper's, this paper's a little bit thick. Oops, see the light's gone off. So I'm just going to add a few extra lines here. So now that I'm drawing the original, it will be just a little bit different. So I'm going to add little things in like, like this on the tail. And I could actually stitch that down by hand. I could stitch it by machine. I could do all sorts of things. I could um, uh, just lay little bits of um, thread there. Now, there, there were on the IAI uh, drawing, they had some marks uh, like this. These were the marks that were on there. And I'm going to add them because I think they're really great for, um, for the quilting lines. You know, you could quilt on there, so to give it some dimension. So I'm just tracing it still on the light box. Whoops, yeah. Moved it a little, little bit because I've been fiddling with the camera. And I'll continue these lines, even though the lines in the in the picture didn't um, end it here. I mean, I want to be able to, when I quilt here, go up, back, up and back, up and back, up and back. So I'll do continuous lines. So it's easy to stitch down here and then across. Um, you could hand stitch them as well if you really wished. What colour? Um, toenails. Shall I give my elephant that's orange? I'm not quite sure. And once again, I'll do the same here with these lines. I'll take them all from there. So I didn't do the voiceovers yesterday simply because it was raining and it was <laughs> rain on a metal roof. No, so here's the applique. This is the applique flower um, and I've just done one. And this one is going to be drawn on white fabric and coloured in with pigment ink pen. And of course, further we go into the program, I'll show you how to do it. And this is the result of that one. White fabric, white fabric that is quite dense. I use a fabric called Japara, uh, and I'll explain that to you later as well. And then these are coloured with pigment ink pens. And you can see I can do them any colour that I like. But I like to be able to do, um, you know, the little black dots around the edge. Because we're going to stitch it in black, it looks like a drawing. The whole thing, I hope, will look like a drawing. So I finished the whole elephant quilt. I may add some more stems to the flowers. I took one flower out. I thought it was too much. I think that I'm going to quilt this with very big canthus stitches, big canthus stitches across um, the whole quilt. I think it looked fantastic in quite heavy cotton. It's Everything is um, audition, 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 audition. And, and I've just laid um, the flowers out to see what they're going to look like. And you can see I've taken a flower out. I might put it back in the one right next to his eye. So I'll audition that later. And then I had to decide on the fabric for the background. And initially I was going to do green. Well, there you go. This is not green, it's um, orange, orange and, orange and pink. And I absolutely love, love, love orange and pink. I think it looks fantastic. And um, then I have some wonderful, wonderful fabric orange that's going to look great. You see, you have to be careful with oranges, but this one fits the background. 
with the pattern now completely drawn and a little auditioning, I can now begin to the quilt. So I've cut the fabric 27 inches by 19, and it's more than I need, but I like to do it that way. And I've just added a little bit, a little teaser of what it's going to look like. I've gone further than this now, but that's going to be the end um, of, of this little session. Mm -hmm.